This is a quick introduction to Accessible Help Desk Pro Edition and new web pages. Before I sign in, I'm about to sign in as John Doe, user. Notice that you could create an account. If the user doesn't already have an account, you have a simple option to create one. We have an option to, if they forgot their password, a user can click here and get a reminder email with their password. Boxes are provided to remember the username, remember the password, or automatically sign in. These boxes can be uh, hidden if you prefer not to offer that as an option. When you log in as a customer, by default you come up to requests you've already submitted. These requests can be output to PDF, to Word, to Excel format. This first option is for a new request. We'll submit a new request now. The current date and time is already filled in. The user's name is filled in. A lot of information is filled in behind the scenes that um, uh, is based on the user who's logging in. We'll say the category is basic support and then we'll just choose other. The status to be new, we could change the priority to high. And this is a sample request. This is an important request. So I chose category high. Now once the user has entered his request information the details, which is a required field, you could use save or save and new if we want to continue to add more requests. We we'll click cancel if we decide he didn't need support after all. We we'll click save. So now the user returned. At the top of the screen is the request they just submitted. Choosing edit will only let them change things like the priority, request type, or so on. In this case, um, It is not a high priority. Anyway. And save again. So now you see we've modified that request. It can filter based on the type of request or the status, category, or priority. And this, this will let them remove the filter. You can also filter just by typing into this search box for information that's contained in the details. So we have two records where RAM is found. And that's all it is. Now we're going to log out as John Doe and we'll log in as an administrator. And you'll see quite a few more uh, options available to the administrator user. Now it comes up instead of to my my request, which is still an option, the staff member could submit requests and so they could show their own requests. By default, you show all requests. And they can filter based on status, type, category, location, department. And up here they can choose to find based on uh, the person assigned, staff members assigned, as well as the priority, and complete whether complete is yes or no. So, and always as before, the user can type into this text box and search for values and filter the data that way. Now a staff member, unlike a user, can update many more fields. You see that when John Doe logged in, we captured other information such as a department, location, building, and so on. We'll change the status now and say it's active. We'll even give it a due date. And um, we'll set this as Friday. Now, by default, entries are no or they're not complete. And completed by is left blank. Completed date is blank. We use the field assigned to to automatically fill in completed by by just checking this button, set the request as complete. Once you check that, it fills in the current date and the time. The status change is complete to yes, completed by. And then this is a sample note. Unlike the action taken, the sample note won't be displayed to the end user when they're viewing my request. Now, of course, we're going to change our filter, reset it. We built it on security. So now we see all records again. And you can sort by clicking on an underlying heading on a column. 
Some fields like details cannot be sorted on or action. These are memo style fields. <clears throat> you see here the number of items available. You can change the number of pages. So we want to see all 44 items. We just enter a number large enough to show them all on one page without having the page for it. In addition to showing requests, editing requests, a request snapshot provides a variety of graphs which are drilled down. They're interactive. So here we see that we've got requests by date. We could change to see the request by day, week, quarter, default is month, or by year. We've got by department. These other charts are by request type and by request status. So if I want to find only those completed requests, I click on that slice of the pie and the filter is already put in right here to show me only completed requests. As mentioned before, we can output easily to Word, Excel, or PDF. Similarly, we have computer snapshots, we have peripheral snapshots, and then we have a knowledge base, lookup tables, and the users. User information is really what it's all about. By entering information about a user, their location, their department, phone number, email, so on. This information can be carried forward into other records. So for example, we have this record for Chuck Roast. We're going to set a peripheral. Adding new peripheral and set the type as a digital camera. But by default, the ad assigned to is going to come up with the person that's logged in. When we change this value to Chuck Roast, his name, would all make fill in his department, his location, department, and room. So now we just choose a few more uh, items from drop down list. We'll make up a serial number and an asset ID. We can put in again the date required, the date acquired, and we use today's date. For cost, seem appropriate. Save the record. In the knowledge base will allow you to view entries that have already been made or edit existing entries by changing the category, the topic or subtopic, and then entering the item. In addition to uh, the many options I've shown so far, Accessible Help Desk uh, Pro Edition web pages allow the user to change the look and feel of the web pages by choosing from the drop down list. This will change things like the color, background, so on. They also change the um, formatting of field labels. For example, in this case, we've got uh, right aligned instead of left aligned labels. This could also be changed because cascading style sheets are provided. The end user could, uh, if you purchase the program, you can change the look and feel yourself of any of these things by modifying the cascading style sheet. In addition, we have the option to choose languages, French, German, Spanish, or English. This will just change some of the heading information, some of the prompts. You see here and here, here, save and cancel down below, or change them to Spanish. Or German or French is appropriate. I'll just go back to English. And then we'll sign out. Accessible Help Desk Pro Edition has been used for many years. Uh, this new website set of web pages are available free to licensed users. Uh, they're in .NET format. They're provided as pages, not compiled DLLs. That means is if you have a web designer, developer on staff you'd be able to modify those yourself, uh, customizing look and feel, and many other aspects of the interface. Thanks for your time.